so this is the day guys this is the day that i decided i'm going to do a tour of my shelves i have actually one two three four five shelves so this is gonna take some time grab a mug of coffee a tea or water or something and get cozed cozy and let's see if this works i'll try not to babble too much so let's go so right now in my room we have about five different shelves we have this one which is the biggest then we have this one on the wall we have this one which is a mess and the new one that I just acquired which is not yet filled completely so I think we'll start with the one on the wall let's do that okay so first I have a, a note of uh, a bill of 10 pounds with Jane Austen on it because Jane Austen is on money and I just want to celebrate that um, then we have the folio diary of 2020 because um, when you used to buy a folio society they used to when you bought like a December January November they used to give you their diaries but I never use them because they're amazing and perfect and just I don't know, Folio Society is amazing. Then I have The Country Diary of an Edwardian Lady by it Edith Holden. I have Letters of Note by, damn it, I think Sean Usher. Um, it's just fantastic. I love this book. Then More Letters of Note by Sean Usher. It's awesome. Bewick's British Birds by Thomas Bewick. I only have this because it's mentioned in Jane Eyre. Yeah, I'm I'm one of those. Then we have this compendium of uh, Hier Hieronymus Bosch, Hieronymus Bosch's paintings. Um, it's really creepy stuff, but it's amazing. I love 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 his paintings. Then we have this little, uh, really difficult to make origami that I did that someone recently told me that looked like a um, uh, coronavirus and I just, it broke my heart. I have this one too. But anyway, let's take that aside too. Um, so we have here um, a little bit of the works of Van Eyck because I really, this painting, the Arnofini portrait is my favorite painting of all time then we have um, the complete paintings, sculptures and arch architecture of Michelangelo still have to read that then we arrive at the Folio Society books that I have this and Frank diary is just the most beautiful thing. I'm not going to take every book out and show you guys because it's going to take too long. But I just want to take and Frank's off because just let me show you. They mimicked the actual diary that she had that she wrote in. I mean, Folio Society breaks my heart. This is just so beautiful. And when you open it, look at this. Ugh, I just can't take it. Can't take it. Then, let's go. I have the selected poems of John Keats. I have The Princess and Pauper by Mark Twain. I have Joseph Roth the Radetsky, Radetsky, Radetsky March I have the pillow book uh, by Seishogon it's like a really old di diary of a, like a noble lady in China um, Disgrace by 
G J M I don't know how to say this. Oh my god. You can read it. Um prehistory the making of the humankind by calling Renfrew Renfrew Renfrew. I have this one which I uh I waited so long for a uh, a deal, a sale to get this one Cleopatra by Stacy Schiff. I have one of my favorites, A Clockwork Orange by Anthony Burgess. Orlando by Virginia Woolf, which is so beautiful. Vio Bodies by Evelyn Waugh. Then I have The Selected Poems by Emily Dickson Dickinson. It's beautiful. A Room with A Room of One's Own by Virginia Woolf. And The Time Traveler's Guide to Medieval England by Ian Mortimer. It's also really cute. This one I had to wait and wait and wait for a sale because it was 82 pounds and I got it for 40. And it's The Sound of the F and the Fury by William Faulkner. Then I have these two creatures here. I really don't remember their names. Um, so these two are just like boxes that, that are made to look like a books that have stuff in them like um uh letter making stuff like paper and and stickers and stuff so i got the jane Eyre and the charlotte bronte because i can help myself this one i made myself uh folding paper it was really hard um so we have s by uh what is his name Doug Dors and JJ Damn it, what's his name? JJ Abrams. Um it's one of my favorite favorite books. Then we have this compendium of Jane Austen novels with Sens Sensibility, Pride and Prejudice, Emma and Northanger Abbey. It was the first book of Jane Jane Austen that I got and the first book of Charles Dickens that I got. With the Adventures of Oliver Twist, Christmas Carol, A Tale of Two Cities and Great Expectations. So that's the first shelf. I forgot to say I also have this uh, Folio Society Diary for 2019 which is just so so beautiful. And the Rubaiyat of Omar, o Omar Khayyam which also from Folio Society. Now we go to the second um, shelf, which is comprised completely of Jane Austen. This is my um, Jane Austen um, collection. So let's count how many I have because I actually have no idea. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, wait, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35. So right now I have 35 Jane Austens and did I count the manuscript? I don't know if I count. I counted the manuscript. Uh, it's my baby. It's um, Jane Eyre in Charlotte Bronte's handwriting and it's just oh my god it's my heirloom for the rest of my life. So um, I did um, if you guys want to like see them each one I made a video just with my collection of Jane Eyre so you can check that out there now the third um, shelf has my little uh, potion spot here with this beautiful painting and we start with Senora, 
We have Three Senhoras here, which is um, one of my favorite Brazilian books. Then we have, we start Sylvia Plath. So we have the Unabridged Journals of Sylvia Plath, which is my favorite. We have the Collected Poems of Sylvia Plath. We have her drawings. We have the Bell Jar. We have Johnny Panic and other stories. We have Ariel, Ariel and Ariel Restored Edition. We have The Letters of Sylvia Plath Volume 1 and The Letters of Sylvia Plath Volume 2, which are ginormous and I am dying to read them. Here we have Far From the Madding Crowd by Thomas Hardy, The Waves by Virginia Woolf, Oliver Twist by Charles Dickens, and Tessa of the Dubbervilles by Thomas Hardy. In here we have like my wands from Harry Potter, a little um, decoration for Harry Potter here. Then I have the seven books um, for Harry Potter. Um, these are supposed to be the houses of Harry Potter. And this is actually a game uh, for... Uh, what's it called? Throne of Glass and I haven't even ended the, the, the series but I just really wanted this game because the illustrator who illustrated the cards of the, the, the game is just my favorite and I love her so much so that's the third shelf and and that's the end of the shelf on the wall now let's go to the other bigger shop. Here we got poems of the Bronte sisters. Sisters? Why did I say that so weird? We have the manuscript for Lady Susan by Jane, Ayr Jane Austen. So we have her actual handwriting. It's another one of my babies um, from SP Books. We have the Disney book, my dad gave it to me one of my birthdays we have a very famous it's not very famous but from a very famous brazilian author a pedra do reino diario de sua suna here we have the history of england by jane austen and cassandra clare and cassandra clare <laughs> cassandra austen um i got this um this is actually folio society but it's Uh, uh, antique, uh, what's it called? Thrifted. Here we have this beautiful painting by Paulina Bright. Um, you can check her out on Instagram. Here we have a bunch of uh, comics. We have The Boy, The Mole, The Fox and the Horse. We have a bunch of Calvin and Hobbes that I love so much. And, of course, A Day in the Life of Marlon, B Marlon Bundo. Because you gotta have it. If you, if you haven't read this book, read this book, please. Now, we get to the second shelf. We start with Bur Burial Rites by Hannah, oh no, her second name is, has a sticker on it, so, sorry. So Circe by Madeline Miller, The Song of Achilles by Madeline Miller, um, this Jane Austen handbook which just like talks about to what was life like in the Regency period. Lost in Austin by Emma Campbell Webster, um, Infinite Jest by David Foster Wallace, and just to like put the two most intimidating books of my life together, put Ulysses next to it by James Joyce. Then we have The, the Mysteries of Udofu by Anne Radcliffe. Then we have Mrs. Dalloway by Virginia Woolf. We have A Room of One's Own and The Voyage Out by Virginia Woolf. We have The Passion by Jeanette Winterson. We have 
uh, White Sargasso Sea by Jean, Jean Riz. Here we start uh, Brazilian authors, so we have Ariano Suassuna here, Machado de Assis here, then we have The Little Prince, then Clarice Lispector, we have three, and then we get The Secret History by Donna Tarte, Donna Tart, The Great Gatsby by F. Scott Fitzgerald, The, da the Beautiful and the Damned by F. Scott Fitzgerald, And we got two uh, William Shakespeare uh, plays, being Macbeth and Hamlet. Then we got Despised and Rejected by Rose Alatini, Harriet by Elizabeth Jenkins, Uh, Mrs. Pettigrew Lives for a Day by Winifred Watson Someone at a Distance by Dorothy Whipple Then we have The Life of Charlotte Bronte by El Elizabeth Gaskell We have Shirley by Charlotte Bronte We have Anne Bron Anne <laughs> what? We have Agnes Gray by Anne Bronte And Evelina by Fanny Burney And this is just an origami box that I made and a little paper bird that I made and these are um, boxes that I collect um, like snuff boxes I just I am crazy about them I collect them so much you have you got you guys have no idea so let's go to the next one Now we get to Ellen Hopkins. So we get Impulse, Perfect, Burned, Smoke, Rumble, and Tilt. Then we get Cat on a Hot Tin Roof by Tennessee Williams, um, The English Patient by Michael Ondaatje, The God of Small Things by Ar 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 Arundanti Roy, Arundanti Roy, The Mandarins by Simone de Beauvoir, Cry the Beloved Country by Alan Patton, The Pianist by Wadislaw Spilsman, Wadislaw Spilsman. Then we start uh, our Dickens collection, so we got David Copperfield, Great Expectations. Little Dorrit, Our Mutual Friend, and Nicholas Nickleby. We also have Wives and Daughters by Elizabeth Gaskell. And I'm gonna just say Dangerous Li Liaisons because I can't pronounce this by Lacklos. Oh, and here we got Oliver Twist by Charles Dickens. Um, we have a signed cassette by Dodie, which is my life. We have Truman Capote in Cold Blood. We have Labyrinths by uh, Hor Borges. I'm just gonna say Borges. <laughs> We have The Master and the Margarita by Mikhail Bok Bogakov. We have um, Love in a Cold Climate and other novels by Nancy Mitford. We have On the Road by Jack Kerouac and The Garden of the Fitzy Collins by Giorgio Bassani. So that's the third shelf. Now we go and if you wanna if you guys want wanna take a look at my collection of boxes. This one is Ukrainian. This one is Victorian. This one I have no idea, but it's so beautiful. This one is Chinese. This one my mom gave to me. It's like new. So we ha we head to the next shelf. We have a bunch of vintage classics. So we start with What We Talk When We Talk About Love by Raymond Carver. Uh, we by Ye Ye Yevgeny 
Zamiantin. I, I'm not. I, I'm not gonna say that. We have Invisible Cities by Italo Cavino. We also have If N Not If On a Winter's Night a Traveler by Italo Cavino. We have The Painted Veil by uh, W. Somerset Maugham. We have The End of the Affair by Graham Greene. And we have The Death of the Heart by Elizabeth Bowen, which I started and did not finish. I could, I, I just found it too boring, but I didn't um, unhaul it. I just kept it here to maybe another time. So we have Mall Flanders by Daniel Defoe, East of Eden by John Steinbeck, we have The Odyssey by Homer, um, The Portrait of a Lady by Henry James, we have The Monk by Matthew Lewis, we have Middle March by George Eliot, which I really want to read, we have Lady Ch Chatterley's Lover by D.H. Lawrence, we have here Letters of Note but Just Love Letters by Sean Usher. We have 100 Years of Solitude by Gabriel, Mar Gabriel Garcia Marquez. We have The Nightingale by Kristen Hanna. Then we have a bunch of George he Georgette Hare books. We have, let me take this off. We have Devil's Cub, which is awesome. We have The Grand Sophie, which I haven't yet read. We have Sylvester, which I think I have read like three times. We have Frederica, which I haven't read yet. And this other copy of Devil's Cub, because I love this so much. Then we have um, Tiny Beautiful Things by Cheryl Strayed. We have... Giovanni's Room by uh, James Baldwin. We have The Virgin Suicides by Jeffrey Eugenides. We have Love is a Mixtape by something Sheffield. Then we have our beautiful Dodie and her signed album, which I'm gonna take just for a second. We have here beautiful Coins, one from for Clarice Lispector, one for Jane Austen, and one for Machado de Assis. Then we get Good Morning Midnight by Jean Reese, Eugenia Grandet by Honoré de Balzac, I don't know if I'm saying that right, For Whom the Bell Tolls by Ernest Hemingway, Study in Scarlet by Arthur Conan Doyle, Kim by Rudyard Kipling, The Process by Franz Ka Kafka, um, I don't know how to say this, I'm so sorry, but it's The Sorrows of Young Werther and Selected Writings, we have Dead Souls by Nicol Nikolai Gogol, we have Out of Africa by Karen Blixen, and The Rainbow by D.H. Wallace. So this next uh, shelf is filled with books that come in a subscription box from Brazil so all of these are in Portuguese and are like made by the subscription box and it's really well made and they're all beautiful here is also from the subscription box here we come with um, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood by Quentin Tarantino here we have His Dark Materials by Philip Pullman. Now we get some children's, I think, yes. Um, the Adventures of Huckleberry Finn by Mark Twain. The Gull Gulliver Travels by John Fon John Jonathan Swift. Heidi by Johanna Spry. Spry? Spiri? Spiri. Then one of my favorites, I Capture the Castle by Doris Smith I Capture the Castle again then Song of Solomon by Toni Morrison then Haruki Murakami books uh, The Bird, The Wind Up Bird Chronicles 1Q84 
just divide it in three. Um, Norwegian wood and After Dark. Then we get a little bit of Alice Morrow with um, the moons of Jupiter and the progress of love. Then we have, what's her name? Just a sec. I have like um, origami everywhere. Lori Moore, Like Life. It's um, short stories, I think. Then we have A Little Life by Hania Ya Nagya. You know, you know, you know what I'm talking about. Then we have The Blind Assassin by Margaret Atwood. We have The Prophet by Khalil Gibran. We have this book that we bought in when we went to the uh, Coliseum, which shows how it uh, the ruins and then how it used to be, and it's really fun. Then we have The Glass Castle by Jeanette Winterson. What's her name? Walls. Walls. Jeanette. Jeanette Walls. Then we have, um, I'm so sorry, this is like not really well done, but it's my first time. A Tree G Grows in Brooklyn by Betty Smith. Then The Arabian Nights. Then 2666 by Roberto Bol Bolaño. Then Perfume, The Story of a Murderer by Patrick Suskind. Then Atonement by Ian McEwen, The Kitchen God Wife by Amy Tan, Slaughterhouse Five by Kurt Vonnegut, Catch Twenty Two by Joseph Heller, The Poisonwood Bible by Barbara King Kingsolver, and The Town in Bloom by Dodie Smith. Because I really want to read more of Dodie Smith. Now we get to the last. We have a little Harry Potter plush here, and we get to the last uh, shelf here. So we have The Princess Bride by William Golden. We have a um, biography of Carlotta Joaquina and Leopoldina de Habsburgo which was the first uh, Empress of Brazil. We have uh, two self-help books, then The Goldfinch by Donna Tartt, then The Great Believers by Rebecca Mackay, then The Come Down by Rebecca Frumkin, then this one I really want to read. I, I am going to read after I reread um, Pride and Prejudice, The Other Bennett Sister by Janice Hot Hadlow, then Off the Page by Jody Picot, Picot, then Welcome to the Night Vale by Joseph Fink and Jeffrey Craner, then The Darkling Bride by Lauren Laura Anderson, then Lady Vernon and Her Daughter by Jane. Br Rubino and Caltain Rubino Bradway. This is a spin off of Lady Susan by Jane Austen. And what I want to do also is reread Lady Susan and read this book. Um, so we got Americana by Shimamanda Nigochi Adichi. We got uh, The Secret Keeper by Kate Morton. We got Calling Bind by Dave Cullen. Guns, Germs and Steel, Steel by Jared Diamond. We got My Heart and Other Black Holes by Jas Jasmine Warga. The Wicker King by Something Ancrum. We have The Words on Bathroom Walls by Julia Walton. The Blood Spell by CJ Redwine. How to Stop Time by Matt Haig. This is not where it's supposed to be. We have The Night Film by Marisha Pessel. 
We have A Good Girl's Guide to Murder by Holly Jackson. We have Serpent and Dove by Something Mahurin. We have The Starless Sea by Erin Morgenstern. And we have Bring Up the Bodies by Hilary Mantel. Also, The Last Seven Months of Anne Frank by Willie Lindware. Now to the other side. We have Star Wars uh, paper thing that I did. We have a lot more paper things for gummy. Um, so I don't have the Grisha trilogy because I threw it away. Cause I didn't throw. I gave it away because I didn't like it very much. But I do have uh, Six of Crows and Crooked Kingdom because people say it's really good. I have uh, the Illuminate files, so Illuminate, Gemini, and Obsidio. I have Secrecy, C Sorcery of Thorns, Everlast by oh, Sarah Holland. Uh, so this is the wrong way, but uh, Court of Silver Flames by Sarah J. Mass. A Court of Wings and Ruin and A Court of Frost and Starlight. Then we have Crescent City, House of Earth and Blood by Sarah J. Mass. We have Caraval by Stephanie Garber, Legendary and Finale. Then we have a bunch of Agatha Christie books in Portuguese. Then we have uh, Gravity Falls Journal 3 because of course. Then we come to the second um, shelf. Now we get more um, series and YA and stuff like that. So I have these uh, boxes that are made, are made out of coins, which are really cool. So we have The Girl Who Was on Fire by Something Wilson. We have the Hunger Games, Catching Fire, and Mockingjay by Susan Collins. We have the Thousand Dollar Tan Line by Rob Thomas and Jennifer Graham, which is the Veronica Mars story. We have A Court of Thorns and Roses by Sarah J. Mass. A Court of Mist and Fury by Sarah J. Mass. Then The Cruel Prince, The Wicked King, and Queen of Nothing by Holly Black. Scythe. Thunderhead and the Toll by uh, what's his name Neil Schusterman, but I don't understand why the Toll is taller. It makes me really mad. We have Truly Devious, The Vanishes, Vanishing Stair, and The Hand of the Wall by Maureen Johnson. Then we have Shatter Me, Unravel Me, Ignite Me, Restore Me, Defy Me, and Imagine Me by Tahara Mafi. I am on Restore Me. I still have to read Define Me and Imagine Me. Then we have The Bird and the Blade by Something Brennan. I received these on uh, subscription boxes. This is Spin the Dawn by Elizabeth Lim. Then The Words Heritage, so sites that are defended by UNESCO, which is really interesting next we go to uh the winner's curse the winner's crime and the winner's kiss by something rutkowski um the kiss of deception the heart of betrayal and the beauty of darkness by something pearson we have vicious by v schwab a darker shade of magic a gathering of shadows and a conjuring of light all different <laughs> from V. Schwab. We have Smoke and Bone, Blood and Starlight, and Gods and Monsters by Lainey Taylor. Then we have Strange Dreamer and Muse of Nightmares by Lainey Taylor. Then we have these last two Princess Diaries because they were my favorites, so Princess Mia and Princess Forever. And then this one came out, which is like the 11th one. It came out like long before after the series was uh, finished and I still haven't read because I'm nervous I don't know why it's called Royal Wedding 
Then we have Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children by Ransom Riggs because I love this book, but I hated the second and the third, so I just um, got rid of them and kept the first one. This is just a notebook. Then we have Scarlet, Cress, and Winter from uh, The Lunar Chronicles by Marissa Meyer. We have the book by Doty, um, Secrets for the Mad. And we have uh, The Shadow of the Wind by Carlos Ruiz de Fon. And also my boxes. Look at this one. So cute. So this one I, I made with my own hands. Look how small it is. Don't mind the dust. So we come to the next one. We encounter a very uh, cartoon John Lennon. I'm gonna take him away a little bit. So we got School for Good and Evil, book one and book three. I don't know why I bought these. Um, Oryx and Crake by Margaret uh, Atwood. Then three dark crowns, one dark queen, dark one dark throne and two dark reigns by something Blake we have the first 15 lives of Harry August by Claire North we have girl in pieces by Kathleen Glasgow this is a music box that I made myself and if you play these notes, um, you get the songs. It's basically just like the opening of Parks and Recreation and Disney songs. So we get Highly uh, Illogical Behavior by John Corin Wally. We have Darius the Great is Not Okay by Adib. Cor Corum. We have My Lady Jane by Cynthia Hand and other people. We have The Astonishing Color of After by Emily X R Penn. We have Hush by Jacqueline Woodson. We have Challenge Challenger Deep, which is one of my favorite books by Neil Shusterman. We have Under Rose Tainted Skies, which is one of also my favorite books by Louise Gornow. We have Stargazing by Jen Wang. We have The Strange and Beautiful Sorrows of Ava Lavender by Something Walton. Is it Julia? No, Leslie. Then we have Tell the Wolves I'm, I'm Home by Carol Rivka Burnt. Then it's kind of a funny story, which is so good by Ned Vizzini. Simon and the Homo Sapiens Agenda by Becky Bertali. More Than This by Patrick Ness. The Truth Beneath the Lies by Amanda Searcy. This book was so good. We have Sky in the Deep by Adrienne Young. The Diviners by Liba Bray. Then we get Brendan Sanderson with Skyward, um, The Final Empire and the Hero of Ages. I know I'm missing the second one. Now we go to this shelf with Made You Up by Frances Francesca Zappia, All the Bright Places by Jennifer Neven. Girl Against the Universe by Something Stokes Every Last Word by Something Stone Harriet the Spy by Louise Fitz, Fitzhugh I love, love, love this book um, The Giver by Lo Louise Laurie, Laurie. Um, We're not gonna talk about this one then uh, The Diary of a Young Girl by Anne Frank. This I bought when I went there in, to the museum, to the hiding place. And it has 
a bunch a bunch a bunch of pictures of the hiding place and the the family it's just like so 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 um beloved to me this is a leaflet from a museum that i went and this is a vis visitor's guide to the museo del prado in spain so i keep them here um then we have the orange uh manga from one to five we have again a diary of Anne frank but this one comes with uh some of her stories then charlie and the chocolate factory and matilda by roald dahl the borrowers which was so much fun by mary norton persepolis which was awesome by Mar. Marjane, Marjane Satrapi, Satrapi, The Outsiders by Essie Hint Hinton. These are books that um, I count the books that I've been reading. So we have Written and Read by Anne Bishop, The Seven ha Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo by Taylor and Jenkins Reid. My voice is failing now. The Wind and Willows by Kenneth Graham. We Are the Ants by Sean David Hutchinson. Alloy of Law by, uh, by Brendan Sanderson. I Am Malala by Malala Yousafzai. And In Order to Live by Yonemni Yu, Yu, Park. Then this is a 10% Happier by D Dan Harris, it's a self-help book. Then The Midnight Rose by Lucinda Riley. Then The Moving Finger by Agatha Christie. Then we get a lot of Agatha Christie here. We have And Then There Were None, Dead Man's Folly, Lord Edgeworth Dies, uh, these these are all in Portuguese. Then Sad Cypress, Little Fi Little Pigs, Crooked House, and Adventure of the Christmas Pudding. Now we get to the part where my art is in front. So I'm gonna just allow me uh, a moment to take these away from it okay so we get is this a man by primo levi levi um the book thief by mark suzak then we get a lot of philip philippa gregory with the bolain bolain inheritance the white queen the knight the kingmaker's daughter and the virgin lover then we get the house of salts and sorrows um i don't know how this is in english but it should be sorry leonard peacock by matthew quick then this children act by ewan McEwen. then we start with our outlander so we have outlander um dragonfly and amber Voyager, uh, Drums of Autumn, then I don't know the, the sequence, then A Breath of sh sh Snow and Ashes, The Fiery Cross, we got Written in My Own, in my own Heart's Blood, and that's it. Then there's this one that people really seem to be freaked out about, which is The House of Leaves by Mark Deni Danielski um which i'm really afraid to read then all the light we cannot see by anthony door then this is a picture of my brother and we go with lolita by vladimir nabokov crime and punishment by fyodor dostoevsky vanity fair by thackeray uh the idiot by dostoevsky uh poems by maya angelou i know why the Cage Bird Sings by Maya Angelou, The Color Purple by Alice Walker, and Never Let Me Go by Kazuo Shiguro. And in the very 
bottom shelf we got um stars here america teacher's edition it's a daily what's it called daily show daily damn it i forgot the name of the program with john stewart um i really really love john stewart so i thought i'd buy this one then we got the the little prince but this one is to color so i wish to like color it in um watercolor one day um then 101 movies to watch before you die 101 books to read before you die then the night circus by erin morgenstern the seven deaths of evelyn hardcastle by stuart turton the devil and the dark water by stuart turton then we have the scarlet letter by nathaniel hawthorne even ho Ivanhoe by Sir Walter L. Uh, Scott, Emma by Jane Austen, Dubliners by James Joyce, and The Adventures of Tom Sawyer by Mark Twain. Then we have some CDs here. Then we have some uh, Princess Diaries. Then we have some Lisa Claypas. Then these are arcs that I received uh, like a million years ago and I haven't read. Then Pony. The Greatest Town in America by Leslie because Parks and Recreation is the best and The Da Vinci Code by Dan Brown So this is the end of this tiny little shelf that has some of my rejects because I have better copies of them now but it has this one that uh, loves letters to the dead that I do want to read. Uh, Maida, which is my name, by Darcy Ribeiro. Um, it's like an anthropology book. Um, I just bought because it's my name. Then the complete, complete uh, illustrated works of Oscar Wilde, um, going like through them a little bit, little by little. Then we have uh, poetry, first Cora Coralina, which is Brazilian, then uh, Walt Whitman, Leaves of Grass, Roca, 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 then uh, Allen Ginsberg and Mary Oliver. Then my new shelf. Um, these three uh, in the little magazines, they are also another subscription box from brazil which makes beautiful books um one of them is with my mom because she's reading it um and it's cool because they make like titles that are recent like this one is the other black girl who just came out so this one is little women uh, the folio edition copy and i'm like dying to read it this is frankenstein by mary shelley what paintings say a uh, hundred masterpieces in detail the biting by bridget collins it's not okay to feel blue and other lies by scarlett curtis juvenilia by uh jane austen then a bunch of jane austen here with in the same um edition so mansfield park northanger abbey emma and persuasion then we get the picture of dorian gray and this tiny little one, which is the importance of being earnest, which I love. Then we come here and we get the full, complete collection of Jane Austen in the Folio so Society editions. And I'm so happy to be looking at this. You guys have no idea how beautiful this is to me. So, Sense and Sensibility, Emma. Uh, Mansfield Park, Northanger Abbey, Persuasion, Pride and Prejudice. So, so, so beautiful. And Sense and Sensibility was given to me by my cousin. Because I don't know if you know the story, but uh, Folio Society stopped sending books to Brazil and I kind of died of sadness. So I only had these five and I was like, I'll never complete my collection now. I'm doomed. So my cousin heard about it. And he or ordered, he lives in Germany, so he ordered Sense and Sensibility and sent it to me. 
and it was the most kind the kindest thing anyone has ever done for me and i i love i love it so much thank you so much then there's another uh editions of pride and prejudice here this one which is beautiful this one this one which is penguin drop caps and this one which is the annotated pride and prejudice which is the one i want to read which is like a brick because it's like one page is the text and the other page is just commentary and annotations so i really really want to read this one then there's the uh, Jane Austen Alive by Claire Tomalin, which is a biography. Then we have another copy of Persuasion, Northanger Abbey, Northanger Abbey, Mansfield Park, Emma, Sense and Sensibility. Then we have here Love and Friendship, Three Sisters, and a Collection of Letters. And here we have Sandington, which is the novel she actually two of these two novels she didn't finish Sandington and the Watson and Lady Susan um, then we get to my Harry Potter uh, illustrated editions first we have a history of magic uh, the one that was made in conjunction with the British Library which I my dad also gave me for my birthday um, we have Magical Places and the Artifact Vault, which I am dying to read once I reread every Harry Potter. Then all the uh, illustrator had illustrator Harry illustrated Harry Potter. So the one, two, three, and four. We have Glass Town, which is a um, gla uh, graphic novel about the Brontes as children, and it's amazing. We have Dracula by Bram Stoker, Dr. Zhivago by Boris Pasternak, My Love, Anna Karenina by Leo Tolstoy, War and Peace by Leo Tolstoy, Rebecca, which I'm dying to read by Daphne du, du Maurier, Jamaica Inn by Daphne du Maurier, one of my favorites, uh, The Handmaid's Tale by Margaret Atwood, and the testaments by margaret edward which i have not read because i want to reread first the handmaid's tale then we come here and we ha have all the throne of glass series so throne of glass crown of midnight air of fire queen of shadows empire of storms and the assassin's blade then tower of dawn and i'm currently reading the last one which is Kingdom of Ash, so there's space here for it when I finish. Then Matt Haig, we have How to Stop Time, The Humans, and How to uh, Reasons to Stay Alive. I also had um, the Midnight Library, but I didn't like it so much, so I sold it. So we have The Priory of the Orange Tree, which I have not read yet. Um, we have Animal Farm, which I have not read yet. Then one, another one of my favorites, 19... 84 by George Orwell These three are like favorites Fahrenheit 451 by uh, Ray Bradbury and uh, The Catcher in the Rye by J.D. Salinger and here I have space for books to be bought yay now this if it's it will focus focus it's a mess it's <laughs> a bunch of um, uh, what's notebooks i have a magic eight ball for some reason i have uh sketchbooks i have so many things here you guys have no idea stickers um so i am planning to read wolf hall by hillary mantel once once i finish kingdom of ash so i keep here the books that i'm reading so kingdom of ash is here with its little um miniature i am um Kind of saving this place for when we have all the Mina Lima Harry Potter books. So I first I have only the first one, and I'm gonna uh, continue the shelf with the other Mina Lima copies when they come. 
Um, I have Beauty and the Beast, Peter Pan, and Jungle Book by Mina Lima. So, so, so beautiful. I have uh, Harry Potter and the Cursed Child by... Who knows? I mean, why? Why make this? This was so unnecessary. And the um, Playbill when I went to see it, which was amazing. I do not regret it. I loved it. Um, when I went to see it in London. And let me see if I can show you guys the first one. Uh, up there is... Um, Sokka and Zuko really needing a bath. Then there are Descender, a graphic novel, so Descender, um, which is for sale. I decided I wasn't going to continue with it. The False Act also, I'm not going to continue with it. Then these three are Saga, which I'm not going to continue with. Um, they're for sale. And then in the middle, it's all Avatar The Last Airbender, which I'm collecting. And I love Avatar with all my heart. So, oh my god, I can't believe it. I finished it. I showed you all of my shelves. I hope you enjoyed it. It took me <laughs> a long time and my voice is now failing me. But I hope you enjoyed it. Um, these are all my books. Some are outside my room, the ones that I'm like that I, uh, that I unhold and that I'm just waiting for them to be bought but this is it so far maybe when I have more books I'll do uh, another one but these these videos are not easy to do guys <laughs> But thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you had fun. I hope you had a drink in your hands, a coffee, a tea or something because it took a long time. But thank you so much for watching. Have a great day and awesome week and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.